Under Pennsylvania law, housewives are not allowed to hide dust and dirt under a rug in their house. It's kind of an absurd law. Another thing I think is absurd is the polygamy laws in the U.S. Polygamy will both happen behind the walls of a home, and honestly, I see nothing wrong with either. Polygamy is a practice where a person enters into a marriage with more than one spouse. And there are three forms of polygamy. Polygyny, in which a man is married to more than one woman. Polyandry, in which a woman is married to more than one man. And group marriage, which is a combination of polygyny and polyandry. If legal, polygamy could be part of our country's future. But right now, it's illegal. But is it really wrong? Polygamy laws should be abolished in the U.S. so that, with consent from the participating parties, individuals can enter into a polygamous relationship um, because of freedom of religion. Polygamy alone does not harm people, and it is practiced all over the world. This country stands for freedom of religion, and polygamy is part of a religion. It's practiced in Islam, Mormonism, and many other religions. The First Amendment of the Bill of Rights states, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. So if it's stated that it's allowed, why isn't it? For example, Mormonists. They believe that polygamy is their path into heaven, as stated in the Book of Mormon. So it really should be protected. And Marcy Hamilton wrote, Congress was not focused solely on eradicating religious polygamists in the West, but, um, but also intent on preserving the long tradition of marriage between one man and one woman. That, of course, makes sense. Everyone loves tradition. But what about this religious polygamist tradition? It's their tradition to practice polygamy. No, it's their religious tradition to practice polygamy. But Congress overlooked that ruining the authenticity of the First Amendment. So, when Congress first made that First Amendment, then banned polygamy, were they really just going against their word? Second, polygamy alone does not harm people. I recently watched this video called Inside Polygamy, Life and Bountiful. The people in it loved their life. The wives were happy, the husband was happy, the children were happy. It was really great for them. And the only sad part they had was when they discussed their old church, the Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. That church was led by Warren Jeffs, the supposed prophet who was once on the FBI's most wanted list. He got a bunch of people to follow him, and he led a bunch of men to marry underage girls. But that was not caused by polygamy. That was caused by him being kind of a sicko. Um, <laughs> nowhere does it say that polygamy sanctions underage marriage. Abuse is not caused by polygamy. And abuse isn't even unique to poly polygamy. Abuses are found in all forms of marriage, not only those with multiple wives, said Todd Shackelford of Oakland University in southeastern Michigan. He's an evolutionary psychologist who work focuses on aggression within marriage. So, situations like Warren Jeffs and that church, and many other ones, they're not caused by polygamy. They just give it a bad reputation. So, polygamy does not harm people. Third, and finally, Polygamy is practiced all over the world. It's practiced in many religions, many countries. Some of the religions it's practiced in, it's practiced in Buddhism, Hinduism, Ancient Judaism, Mormonism, and Islam. Some of them may only practice, may only have practiced it in ancient times, like Hinduism and Judaism. Some of them may have a limit on wives. Like in Islam, a man can only have up to four wives. And some of them, polygamy may be part of their beliefs in only parts of the country, or parts of the world. Like Buddhists in some areas frown on polygamy, but it is well known that a lot of Buddhists in Tibet practice it. And it's known to be practiced in a lot of countries too. 
specifically Kenya, South Africa, Sudan, India, only under Muslim law, uh, Thailand, uh, a little, little bit in China, and South Asia. So, really, if it's accepted in so many places and so many religions, why is it that we can't accept it? Polygamy laws should be abolished in the U.S. so that, with consent from the participating parties, individuals can enter into a polygamous relationship because of freedom of religion, it alone does not harm people, and is practiced all over the world. So, I know we, we're not Congress, we can't really do anything, really, but we can do a little bit. If you see an online article on polygamy, maybe just like comment on it, tell them what you think of polygamy. If someone asks your opinion on polygamy, just tell them what you think of it. And just, if the opportunity arrives, just tell them what you think about it. Under Pennsylvania law, housewives are not allowed to hide dust and dirt under a rug. Both that and polygamy happens behind the walls of a home. And honestly, I see absolutely nothing wrong with either of them.